Ah non. <laughs> Life is a game of chess. I don't know how to play chess. But I can say with certainty that chess is not always about winning. Sometimes it's simply about learning and so is life. We can compare the world in which you live with a chessboard, one of the cheapest made of cardboard, or if we are lucky, one of fine lacquer novel essence of wood. We are the pieces. We move by well-defined rules, not too many, but impossible to elude even if you wanted to. Once we enter the game, we have to make the first choice, perhaps the most important, the opening of the game. You are the main piece, so the only person who can defeat you is you. Even though you may sometimes feel you're being played. Played by the people, played by society, played by the reality. This is why you have to prepare your strategy, your moves, your defense, your attack. And then, as time passes, you adapt. Nobody says it's easy. But you see, in this life, there are many crying poems who are always complaining. Complaining that they don't have freedom of movement. That the queen is too black, that they are too small, and that they don't like the king's movement. <clears throat> when they feel that they cannot move anymore, when they know that they are at the limit of their powers, that they are cornered, people attack. And the most disturbing part is that they do not attack their enemies. They attack their friends, they attack their peers, they attack you. You don't have to be affected by the hard times in your life. Don't let this world make you bitter. Don't let the actions of the other people turn you cold in the inside. Don't let anything make you unkind. It's okay to be sad and disappointed. It's okay to cry. Scream if you have to. But do not limit your moments. Wake up in the morning and do whatever you think is right. There are moments in life when you feel like you're just going to say game over. It's alright, just take a deep breath. Inhale, exhale, let it make you stronger, smarter, kinder. And do not go and become someone that you're not. I know it's, it hurts to open your eyes to reality. But someone has to do it, and it has to be you. Then straighten out that crown and keep it moving. Every experience, both good and good and bad, will eventually take you to where you are supposed to be. Every lose, every win, every mistake, and every offense brought to you. Don't be afraid to fail, and don't be affected by the others, because people can be bad. People can hurt so much sometimes. Cheaters accuse you of cheating, liars accuse you of lying, insecure people make you feel insecure. Pay attention to how people treat you. It's a reflection of who, you really, of who they really are. And do not ever forget that there are just some poems scattered around the queen. Now please raise your hand if you have ever felt useless or misunderstood. Just a reminder, in case, in case your mind is playing tricks on you today, you matter, you are important, you are loved. Your presence on this earth makes a difference whether you see it or not. Never forget who you really are and what you're capable of. Remember that you are the, the king. <clears throat> and those crying poems will, will never know that no matter how much they complain, they, in the end they will be brought forward and used as bait. They will fight and the king will give checkmate and pick up all the lawyers. Uh, now, my question for, for you is, what have you chosen to be in this life? A crying poem, a slight pain, or an um, unscrupulous rock? Okay.